Welcome back to Dirt to Daytona, folks. Today we have got Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We've got a win. We've got a second place finish after a brake failure caused us to have a late race issue. We were lucky enough to be able to stay out under caution to get a second place finish. Now we've got Las Vegas. More flat, wider track. Should be some fun. Let me get out there, get reacclimated. We'll see you at qualifying. Um, yeah, we're faster than Stewart. We're faster than everyone that's qualified so far. We got a 32.559 on our second lap around. Unfortunately, I don't know if we'll be able to accomplish that with uh, this. Like our, it's technically going to be our first lap around. So I had a 30. 32.7 something on my first lap though, so that was pretty good. I feel pretty okay about it. Don't mind the first corner. We're not even qualifying yet. Calm down. Alright, here we go. Qualifying lap underway. Felt very good, very, very good indeed. Eh. I actually slowed down a little bit too much there, but we'll see how it turns out. Of course, you have to do this on the apron because it's the shortest way. Yeah, just a little slower than our best ever. Destroying the wall, destroyed the car. Just kidding. Doesn't matter. We were done with the qualifying lap. Wow, look at us. Way better than everyone else. Love to see it. Not even our fastest lap. Let's get out here and show everybody that we're the best car out there, not just in qualifying. Las Vegas, Nevada. We don't have a commentator for it. We're right on the front row, so uh, all we got to do out here is put together a solid race and walk away with a victory. Get that quick jump off the line. And we're off into turn number one and two. We have got 134 laps in the race. 30 laps per tank. I believe that makes it a four-stop race. Yeah, four stops. So in our last race, we had some issues, obviously, at the end. We had our brake failure. I'd really like to get through this race without any kind of failures. I have uh, the setup, you know, the pit crew and everything set up to be 100% reliable. So that was awesome to experience a lack of 100% reliability, but... You know what? We do whatever we gotta do here. We're gonna actually run this right down on the apron. And then get back off of it. Just get a quick, quick is, uh, quickest lead we can. Pull away from all these fine, fine other race car drivers and not worry about it until we get into lap traffic. And I feel like that's what we're going to do with the video right now is just kind of not really talk until we get to lap track if, traffic. If we don't, this is, you know, another long race. If we don't get to lap traffic before we pit, then you'll see a pit. If we get a caution before we pit or there's lap traffic, then you'll see the caution. You know what I mean? Caution action. Pit stop. That's what we'll be talking again. Well, here we are catching up to lap traffic um we have had no issues we're actually not even running at full we're just kind of making minding the uh space between us and the 
leaders. No reason to kill ourselves. No reason to waste or wreck our tires or anything. We've got a better car. So we just come out here and do what we can. I'll push it if uh, Tony Stewart starts to catch up more than he has, but he also has to get around the lap traffic that we're getting around right now, so I'm not really worried about it. I don't really feel like... Oh, I mean, who knows? He's right there. I see him, but I assume that as we continue to come up through these lap cars that we're going to have bigger and bigger bunches see we have a group of four up in front of us now that's something to worry or to see or think about so these are the types of things that yeah see we jumped big time on Stewart already he must have gotten even slightly if he got even slightly caught up behind somebody it's gonna affect him way more than us so this is one of those where we're hopefully get around these guys before we get off the exit Still there. All clear. very well played and we're clear. So, uh, still trying to, well, I mean, we're running a second or a third season regardless, but still trying to figure out if this is what we have to expect going into the next season because we went into this season with already a fully upgraded car. But if it's anything like the truck series that after you win that championship is when it gets really difficult, which is why I want to do it again because it's not winning the first championship that's going to be the challenge. Not to get ahead of myself, but if, you know, driving like this is any indication of the season to come, we're in a pretty good position. That's not to say that we don't make mistakes, wreck the car, and have DNFs, but hopefully we don't. And as you know, I race how I... I race the race how it is. There's never a re... Oh, we got a caution coming out. But anyway, there's never any re-recordings because we have... Uh, no time for that. Each race takes right around two hours to record. So I don't have the time to be messing around with re-recording stuff. If I crash or something, we just we just have it be as it is. Um, only 12 laps into the race with this caution, and I don't see it being a suit. Of, well, we were to save, though. We could get into a fuel savings thing. Nah, we're just going to stay out. We'll just stay out and do what we need to do. Who is in the wreck? Let's see that before we go away. Looks like Jeff Burton and Kevin Harvick got into a wreck together, so should see where they're at. Maybe they'll both be okay. We'll see you after the caution. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green Let's go. Oh. We stayed out. Uh, didn't feel a reason to cut anything up this race. Especially at that point. There wasn't much of one. Uh, we have... We've got to do some things first. We have the ability when we get ahead to save some. I think we've actually saved about two laps already. Is that going to be enough? I think we'd have to save between four and five laps per stint to actually have it make a difference. And I just don't see us doing that. But as you can tell, we are ridiculously faster than everybody else. So far. That doesn't say anything. Um, I'd like to, to remain that way. <laughs> I would like to just go through here and have a really solid run overall. That would make me very happy. Ooh, little, little slippery in the tires. Wasn't like that earlier. Obviously, we have some wear in the right sides. It's all right, though. I've already jumped out to over a second lead over Stuart Rudd, so... Um, both Burtons are having problems. Ward, back of the pack, or either, or not in the race right now. I didn't actually look at the pits, but I did see he was the tough break of the day. Started up top, or not up top, but started up in a high position, and it was in 42nd, so he's not having a good go at it right now. Um, obviously Jeff involved with Harvick on that last one. Looks like Jeff is still in the pit. That was a great lap. So I feel like they're, uh, those two are just going to have a rough day overall. I, didn't, I don't know. I didn't see Harvick even go down pit lane. I saw Burton go down pit road and he was pretty crashed up. So maybe Harvick was the one that caused the accident and is completely fine. I don't know of any other drivers that have experienced something like that, but, uh, 
if they did, I'm sure that they had a good finish. <laughs> that was us. We are the other driver that have done that. Over a two-second lead. Just got 12 left in the tank before we pit. So we're going to go ahead and run this stint out the rest of the way. And uh, we'll catch you when we pit. Or we're going to go into a caution. And actually, if we're... We'll see how many laps are left. How many? Uh, still just seems like... 11 in the tank. It's really hard not to pit right now. But I also almost just want to stay out. I don't know. Chris Enoch in the 211, that pink car, Superflow right there, is the one that was damaged. We're going to pit. I'm about to make some moves right here. You're all clear. You're all clear. Car high. Whoa, all clear. what on earth was that by Junior? He like freaked out and went flying up the track. Hit someone else. He's up clear in front high. of us now, so he hit somebody else. Clear high. You're all clear. There's Harvick. He's fine. All clear. McCabe, McCabe, McCabe. Car mm. high. We got Kenseth on us. I can't get it. Uh, I couldn't make a move to get around whoever that was. We got some damage now. That always happens, doesn't it? Ah, uh, we're fine. It's just annoying. Oh man, we got front right wheel damage. Get out of my freaking way, everybody. Get out of my way. All right. I mean, it wasn't a big deal, but it was annoying because... I couldn't make a slight move to get around whatever that green and black car was. And it definitely cost us. Cost us some problems. All clear. Be all right. By the way, uh, everybody up here still has to pit. So no big deal. If they were to have another caution, I might pit with them just to fix the damage. But I'm not that concerned about it anyway. Just because when they all pit under green, you know what happens. We've got like, tw we'll probably have 20 or more laps left of fuel. So we'll be fine. We aren't obviously able to drive as fast as we were before because of the damage. We're definitely getting tight in the corners now from having front right damage, which sucks. But we're still faster than most of these bad boys. Start using the draft a little bit. All clear. Try to be as smart as possible at the same time. Got a couple of them that are way out there. Got a couple that are looking to pit already. So, yeah. Only a few of the leaders pit with us. And they're all about to reap those benefits in a moment. In the next few laps as all these other cars are going to pit as well. I would like to have been as close to Stewart as possible just so when he pits, we can catch him a lap down, maybe. I'm not sure if we will get these guys a lap down on this size track. I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Wouldn't be too upset about it, that's for sure. Pitting with... Knowing that we were going to come out of the pit with about... Or come out of that caution with about seven laps left in our tank. It was no reason not to pit at that moment. So... Yeah, we're still definitely gaining on everybody, that's for sure. Which is nice. It's a very nice, as I like to say. It makes me happy. All clear. These three up here, though, not pitting yet is interesting. Well, I suppose. I don't know why Gordon and uh, Labani pit so early, to be honest. There were. These guys probably did still have seven in the tank. So it should be around 103 or 102 that they'll pit. 
Oh, never mind. There is 102 left, so now I'm really confused. They pit, They didn't pit on the first caution. At least I don't think they did. No bother. No, oh, yeah, here they go. They're going into pit now. Which is actually very unfortunate for them because in that time, I was able to basically catch them. And now we get to find out. As they go around that, and there's a long pit exit. They could definitely, they will likely be a lap down. And I would expect uh, Rusty Wallace to pit this time around. At least that's what I'm expecting to see. Is him cut to the inside. Could be wrong as he goes wide on the... the car head is Interesting. We do have a lot of takers. Maybe he pit early and just has his made his way up between that uh, first caution and second caution and now I don't know but it's strange that he's up here with me and not having seemingly having any kind of a problem oh, here comes some of the cars that I just pit and they're all going down lap which I like put everybody a lap down Especially with the damage we have on the car right now from me being an idiot and not being able to... Not just slamming on the brakes like I should have. Why not just hit your brakes hard? I have them this time. These are things that I gotta learn, you know. Instead of just hit your brakes and live to fight another lap. Still just under 100 laps left in the race and we were doing stupid shit like that, so... It's not lost on me, don't you worry. I'm not that... I'm, I'm too dumb to hit the brakes, but not dumb enough to... Have not known better. We're pulling away from Wallace now. He got stuck behind that group. Which is very good for us. We're kind of pulled away from everybody at this point. Even with the damage, we're still pretty hardcore. Ah, we're burning up that front right. But you always lose some of the condition of that front... Or of those tires that you damage. We have wheel damage from hitting the wall, so... We scrubbed the tire. We scrubbed the letters off. Of course, it's not going to show that, but... We certainly did. And, um... We've got... What do we have? What do we have? 17 in the tank. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and run this stint out, folks. And we'll be back with you. I might try to save a little. So we can pit with around uh, 70 left in the race. But then we're still talking about trying to save 10 laps worth of fuel. So, to, to make it a one-stop race after that, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. We'll see, though. We've got quite a lead on Wallace at this point. Okay, I was on my brakes. And then I let off of him. Yeah, that's, that was a big hit. A spin in is Caution going to come out for him or is he going to be alright? That was a big hit on the wall for him. Hmm. Anyway, caution action or pit stops is when you'll see us again. Or, well, talk to us. You see us the whole time. I don't know why I always say see us again. That's what I'll be talking again. All right, so we'll call that some action and talk about it real quick. What happened there? I have no freaking idea. We just... That was terrible. I really don't know what happened there at all, but it was a hot mess, and we obviously are in a bad spot for the rest of this next 12 laps. Wow, that was crazy. I can't believe that we didn't do more damage. We just lost, like, I don't know. I was going to go high around... Uh, Hamilton, but yeah, we just went nuts there. That wasn't great. We're gonna lose some time on Wallace and Kenseth now, which sucks. I don't. I think we're so tight now. We're we're pulling hard to the right. Oh well, back to it. We'll see you at the <laughs> pit stop, hopefully.
All right, two in the tank, and we're going to risk it and bring it around one more time because I think I've saved enough to make that final lap. It should turn to one to go just past the line, which means we should be able to get onto pit road with no problem because we got that secondary road we got to drive around. Let's see. Yeah, right at the line now, and it was right before the line before, so we saved a little bit each lap. I said 70. I meant 80 to go. I messed that up in my brain place. So we're going to go ahead and Still there. All hit right now. Get on down pit road. We're fine. That's good. That's okay. Everything's fine. Slow down. We will. We're going to slow down right now. See? Well, well done. Now we just have to repair it. We're going to lose the spot to Rudd. He'll come around, probably pit the next time, and uh, we'll see how much of a lead we have on all the cars we put down laps. I know Elliot Sadler was probably the one that was the closest to us because we had just put him a lap down the old-fashioned way. Now you can see Ricky Rudd's uh, flag waving, which means he'll be going down right now. We lost some spots. We had a little bit longer of a pit stop than we wanted, obviously, because of the damage, but we're all fixed up again, so it's nothing we can't drive back into. And uh, here we go. As we get back on the track, We've got somebody coming up. There it is, Matt Kenseth on our right side. He's for position, so we'll definitely be working to get that back. We lost some time on some people, but... I feel like it'll be okay because we're also super fresh right now and they aren't, so that'll be nice. I'd love this race to go completely green just to see okay. how it all panned all out. Clear. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if it will do that, but I also have to remember now we have not only tires, but we have rotation in the wheel because we are no longer damaged on that right side. Best thing I can do, though, is make the proper decisions not to... Uh, there we go, he stayed high. I was say, make the proper decisions that are going to prevent us from running into somebody foolishly like we did on that first stint, which kind of set the tone for us screwing up the rest of the drive. We're uh, Elliot Sadler right in front of us, Dale Jarrett right in front of him. Or not right in front of us, I mean five seconds ahead, but remember he was the one we had just put a lap down, so that kind of was another thing. We had five seconds of damage. Oh, that's the guy we ran into the back of earlier. He kind of rolled right up on us. Anyway, we had five seconds of damage, and that kind of showed it. We came out, and we would have been coming out right at the point with him had we not had that five seconds worth of damage to repair. Most of that damage was repaired just by changing the freaking tires. They had to pull out the fenders a little bit, I'm sure. But uh, Sadler, quite a bit slower than Jarrett with his, uh, well, being stuck behind Borland right there, I guess, would probably be part of it. I'd also think that he's getting pretty close to pitting. Oh, yeah, he's going to pit right now. So that answers that question. With him doing that, we'll probably put him a lap down a lot quicker this time than we did the last time, as long as we keep our butts off the wall. Forgot to come off the gas at the right time there because I was watching him in Borland. So now we've got just a few more spots to drive up to, and hopefully I would like to get to them before they pit, simply because... Uh, you know, the better, the faster we're able to catch up to them and pass them, the better off we are when they pit, that we can put them a lap down and be in that much better spot the next time we pit. And we're not going to lose any kind of uh, momentum or even positions, because that's what I'd like to do is be able to go in in first and come out still in first. That would be great. We went in first, came out in eighth this last time, but I feel like a lot of that was because we were hindered by our damage and couldn't drive as fast as we wanted to. And so here we are, though, big cluster with some triple digits and slower double digit cars on the brakes inside. Ooh, that was I had lost it a little bit there, but yeah, that sucks, actually. 
I lost it a little bit when I hit the brakes trying to avoid Wallace. What the frick, bro? Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he decided to make one of those patented, I'm going to go wherever I want to go moves. Did he just hurt my wheel? No. Yeah. So, uh, thank you. That was 100% since Sterling Marlin decided he was going to make one of those cuts across. But we were there. Oh, well, um, I am going to actually pit because we are damaged and I don't want to be. There we go. All right. We are back here in seventh place. A lot of that has to do with we pit when that whole thing happened. And it was super annoying. And I'm still not very pleased by the whole situation, but whatever. Hoping that we're able to get in front of... What is that? Uh, Laguerre. And be just with these leaders here. And we do. We do do it. So now we're up with the leaders, and this is nice. Even though some of these leaders aren't on the same lap, they're leader-type cars. All clear. Just, uh, you know, things happening that were stupid. Okay, that's the halfway and... Whoa, 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 no, no, no. We got a little loose. We're fine. Get it together, clear Wallace. You're Go fine, too. Ah! I made an aggressive move again. It's fine. We're in fourth place. The three cars in front of us are all for position. Got a lot of vibration now in the <laughs> in the car when we go through the corners. Maybe not so great. Uh, um, oh well, we got a lot of a lot of time to go here, so just gonna try to be smart around these three, not cause any. Issues like we just caused running into Rusty Wallace's front end with our rear end. I realized when I came up on the track that I was going pretty hot. And that that might happen, but you know, it's... It's whatever. Just sneak in here a little bit. Just a little sneaky sneak. No. We're Whoa! Why was he on the? Whoa! There's a spin in turn one. That was gonna be our race. Uh, we have damage, and so we're gonna pit again and put ourselves back in the pile again until we learn how to be patient. That's what we're doing. That's just stupid. Like, I'm just not sure why I do that. Well, I know why that happened. I was right up on him when that happened. So, whatever. But anyway, we'll pit and see you after the caution. All right. Let's do this again. I'd like to get underneath and just go. Get around Andretti would be great. Oh, we got Harvick up here too. Let's go hard into the corner and then hit the brakes. Hopefully catch it. There we go. And go back. That was done better than previous attempts. We got just Tony Stewart to track down now. I definitely overdrove three and four for a reason, though. It's okay. So we'll run uh, one and two basically perfect. Drive it a little deep into three and four just to make some headway early on. In one lap, we cut, we cut his lead in half, so that's nice. Oh, that's that... I just keep getting... That's the first time. Well, not the first. This race is the first race where I've had those issues before. I normally um, have no problem going through those corners. What is up with his front left? Nothing. It just looked funny. Okay. We're going to try to be a little... Still there. Yeah, there we go. There it is. All clear. Back to the lead. Took a little while. Not on this stint, but overall it took a little while to get back there since we pit um, under green. But I'm pleased. I'm pleased that we put everyone down pretty hard too, so that's nice. Now we're just going to do our best to drive away from Stewart. 25 in the tank. 
I don't know how much is left in the race. I know we have at least one stop left. We get 40. No, 30 per. Wish it was 40. Uh, 30 per. There's under 60. We're good. Oh, I shouldn't say that. If there's under 55, 56. So I'm actually thinking if I were to start saving some now and not really care about Stuart, we turn this into a one-stop race for ourselves. So I think that's going to be the strategy right now is that we're going to try to save now and on the next and on our last stint to be able to drive it out so we don't have to stop a second time. Um, I think we can still do that well, at least matching Stewart's speed so that we don't have to worry about losing anything to him. I hope. I'm hoping that our straightaway speed is enough to kind of make that happen, but we're definitely going to start backing up these corners. If he passes us, you know what? I'm going to be okay with it. And here's why. Because I've got a plan now, and I need that plan to work. So we're going to do this, and we're going to actually speed things up here because this plan is not going to be very exciting for people to watch at a normal rate. And we will uh, we'll talk back with you. I mean, the last time we tried this, there was a caution that screwed the whole thing up, but maybe we'll get lucky this time. Maybe there won't be a caution. Maybe we'll be able to save the few laps we need to save and we can get through this whole thing because that would be pretty great for us. So we'll get back with you guys, uh, hopefully when we're doing our pit stop and hopefully it's we're able to talk about the fact that we saved enough to get to where we want to get to. That was just bullshit. I slammed on the brakes to avoid Enoch and I got run through by uh, Mark Martin. What do you do? What do you do? All right. Well, forget about saving. We're going to have to pit one more time after this. We're just going to run out as hard as we can and wreck everybody in the field. Not physically. I just mean time wise. We slapped some of that there red duct tape on the back of the car. It looks fresh and Carlo. new after getting smacked pretty hard by Mark Martin. He's up there. Go We're back away. here in eighth place. We pit again, obviously, knowing that we only have one pit stop left today. Thought better of trying to drive up through that side, knowing that these guys will run high like that. Still there. Not sure why he decided that he was wanted to ride up on us, but whatever. Ooh, that's a triple digit. Oh, why are we getting so Car loose? Car high. Oh, yes. This is not where I want to be. Come on, man. Get it together. Get it Car together. High. Don't come Zero. back up in everyone. He's still down there. Oh, I was. I was watching my rear view mirror. Wow. <laughs> well. Well, some real stuff happened there. Uh, we'll be pitting again. Um, what was a nice race? What could have been a nice race? I've turned into just kind of a junk fest and pretty unfortunate for me to be driving that poorly right there. I just, I wasn't paying attention. I really just flat out. I was watching my rear view mirror to see where that car was going. If he was going to come back up on the track and totally miss the corner and ran hard into the back of... I think, who was it? Laney, maybe? I don't even know who I ran into the back of, but that that changed everything, so we'll stack them all up and try it again. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll be all right. It's, it's just a matter of me putting my nose down and doing what I need to do. So, shh. Stewart got stuck behind all those other cars. That's awesome. We're going to come off at this corner and we're going to take him before we even get to the next corner. I mean, take Junior. I was talking about we already took Stewart. He's way back there. We're up into the lead again. 
Nobody got destroyed. <laughs> there it is. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No saving to be done. We can't save 10 laps here. So we're just going to run it like we do in pit late. I don't know if these other guys are planning on doing a um, stop and go, a little quick pit stop. We're going to at least change rights. So hopefully we get enough of a gap on these guys to be able to put in a decent pit stop. Like a maybe even a full pit stop. I say if I got a 10 to 12 second lead on the field by then, I could take a full pit and still come out in the lead, which would be nice. That's how I feel about it, at least. I'm not quite sure. We're certainly going to drive the hell out of the car right now, though. And, uh... In order for me to do that, though, and I feel like I've talked a lot in this video already because we've had so much stuff going on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed things up and try to run this stint out. Hopefully it's a clean stint for everyone and we can just get to our final pit stop and be talking the last 10 laps of the race. We'll be back with you at that point. Well, that was stupid. Caution flies, um, so we don't have to, we can pit under caution, but so, okay. So let's talk about the two hits that I had that were that if you looked in the rear view, would see the car sliding out or even when junior slid out next to us. So when junior slid out next to us, we didn't hit him in the corner at all. We hit him prior to the corner. And in fact, he drove up into us first and then we bounced off of his side and it was a very flat and straight shot to his side. When he got to the corner, he's super loose. Similarly with that car, uh, I don't know what car that is again, but the bump doesn't warrant the slide out that happened. And that just, that's annoying to me. He slid down into Mark Martin, Mark Martin straightened him out. And all of a sudden we got a caution. It just, it's dumb, uh, but we'll see you after this caution and we'll finish out the race. So we got screwed over coming out of the pit again. Everybody pit. And we absolutely should have been coming out ahead of everyone else, but we didn't. Or oh, whatever. It's just annoying, you know. But we'll be alright, because we're going to have a great one and two here. Holy crap. We were the controller vibrating so hardcore right there as we just warmed up the tires real quick. That's what that was. But it was enough to get around everybody right away again. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to make a clean run for this victory number two on the season. Although, Sterling Marlin says he wants to do something. Wants to do something here. 
Didn't, wasn't able to do much in the one and two, though. He certainly put in the effort on three and four. Please don't be a caution. We're going to push it pretty hard right now. Or I'm actually tapping the brakes and going into the corner even because we're pushing it so hard. I want there to be no question about this victory. And with 10 laps left, we can't burn up the tires enough to lose them. So I'm just going to do it. Drive away from Marlon Stewart and Labani. Rusty Wallace, first car lap down, sitting in fifth. It's again what I've noticed happens with these longer races. The, uh, the separation between lapped cars and not becomes very apparent with even the double and single digit cars. But that's what I wanted to do. Wanted to put down an excellent lap there. Want to be able to duplicate it. Uh, we're not going to duplicate it this time, but... Just want to drive away from everyone and show them that we had the best car the whole time. So there's never any doubt that we were the team to beat today. And thankfully, unlike in North Carolina, where we should have won, we uh, didn't beat ourselves at the end. As long as we don't get a power steering clutch or brake failure, we'll be all right. Next race, I don't know where it is because we're moving into March, so that'll be something we'll have to review after the end of this race. And that's pretty awesome, but as you can tell, we've gotten quite a lead, so we're going to go ahead and finish this one out with a speed up. Of course, if anything happens during that time, we'll slow it back down and talk about it, but I don't see anything happening except for us pulling off our second victory of the season over here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. All right, here we are on the last lap. We smoked the 119 again and actually have engine freaking damage. I just cannot get on my brakes hard enough to avoid that guy. I don't know what it is. He's my new Matt Kenseth, I guess. I'm going to have to get that stigma out of my brain every time I get around him. I'd like to know what his name is, though, because I don't. And we've gone up. We've we've crunched him three times in this race, and that's uh, that's the whole thing. But we will walk away with this one with victory number two that folks is very exciting top five in this race tony savoy tony stewart sterling marlin bobby labani and rusty wallace the 119 is michael hovel good to know good to know a lot of money earned when you hit all of your freaking wow when you hit all of your sponsorship goals and win a race eight hundred fifty four thousand dollars for that race we got nothing to spend it on though that's the only downside of once you've already maxed out your car but hey money's good we can keep paying the team tony savoy dazzled the crowd at las vegas on february 22nd and 27th and brought home the victory but that one we put some separation between us and bobby hamilton is now we lead by well almost 100 points as we enter the month of March, we get to jump over to Atlanta Motor Speedway next. That's $1.5 million. But that will be in the next episode, folks. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I do like to take a moment out, as I always do, to thank you so very, very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, and of course, as always, you take care. <laughs>